Hey guys, Lord of Five here with episode number eight of our Fulham career mode in FIFA 22. The first video of December, boys. Merry Christmas and whatnot. Or happy holidays to those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, you know. We're uh, multi, multi whatever, you know. We love all, everyone on this channel. Definitely. Apart from Preston, no, no. Peterborough fans. Apart from Peterborough fans. Because 12 minutes into this game, they get a red card. It's Sariki Dembele. 13 minutes in a very dangerous tackle. Causes his men to go down to 10. So we have the advantage for a very, very long period of this game. Can we take advantage? Well, Ramsey knocks the ball through to Dilap 18 minutes into the game and he tucks the ball into the back of the net to once again continue his fine goal scoring form and to continue our potential. Now that we've gone one new up, winning ways. Obviously, you go one new up when you're against 10 men. It's more than likely that you are going to win that game. And, well, a poor throw from their goalkeeper. Finds Deckard over Reed from the deflection, but a great save. He kind of pays back for the mistake that he made. And it is still 1-0. As we move here further forward, they have a chance, but a great interception from Rodon. Eventually finds Reed. Reed is going to find the lap on the turn. Rambo to Reed. Almost taken out on all. Could have been another red card there. A cross goal and another great save from Pim, their goalkeeper. So, yeah, he's definitely keeping him in this one. And, you know, whenever it's only a one-goal gap, there is always a chance to drop the points. And thankfully, Deckard over Reed here, 47 minutes into the game. He knows that, you know. He lays it back across to Delap. And while Delap finds the back of the net. You know, his second goal of the game. We know that one, one goal difference is never enough. Get that second, get that third, get that fourth, get that fifth. Well, here, just before the hour mark, Reed is attacking. He finds Delap looking for the hat trick in this game. He knocks it through to Deckard over Reed. Back to Delap. Delap finds Carvalho. Delap is going to find Reed. Reed is going to strike it. And that's actually two goals and one assist for Liam Delap in today's game. 3 0 against Peterborough. And we're kind of now starting to make that 10 against 11 advantage work in our favour. Their players are starting to get a bit more tired. We're starting to be able to find a bit more space. You can see here, Reed on the edge of the box, completely unmarked. Allowed the shot. And it is a hell of a shot as he goes to make it 3 0. Or it's still rising as it hits the back of the net. And we do eventually look to win this one by maybe a fourth here as we knock the ball up to Delap looking for his hat trick. Still, as we play a ball through to Weber. Weber through on goal, looking to get past Kent. Didn't quite work out. It's a great actual save. The clearance finds Shallow, but he's going to knock it down. Carvalho on the turn, holds it, plays it through. Weber through, strikes, crossbar. And that's going to be the final chance of the game. It is going to remain as a 3-0 victory to ourselves. So overall, a very good result for ourselves. Three goals, three points as we move on to the next one where we are taking on Barnsley at home at Craven Cottage. As we look to repeat what we did against Petersburg. And well, things are actually going to start in a very, very similar way to that game. Because here, Weber is going to be taken out by one of their players. One minute, seven seconds into the game. They are down to ten men. Callum Britton is the man that went in late on Weber. Very silly challenge. We turned him quite easily, actually. And for the remainder of the game, 89 minutes of the game, they're going to be down to ten. So we're going to take advantage of that here with Kearney. Playing the ball through to Weber. Almost opening the scoring it's just three minutes after they've gone down, which would have been really unfortunate for them. But they're actually going to look to counter attack us here. There's a lovely little touch there from Lea Iseka. Gets past Tete, gets past Adarabayo. There's a couple of men in the middle, but instead he is going to decide to just hold it up, allow us to come back, and really is a wasted opportunity, all things considered. Just for the fact that they didn't really whip in the cross when they could have. And they didn't even test Gazaniga in the goal. And instead, they just kind of eventually put it around. But it did actually put a nice test in. But if they had put that cross in, I really do think they probably would have scored. Because it was a 2-on-2. Two two. So there was the real chance there. But 70 minutes into this game, they've defended very, very nicely. Until the man that caused the red card, Weber, tucks the ball into the back of the net with 20 minutes remaining in the game. A very, very valiant effort from them. They were down to 10 men for... 69 minutes of the game before we tucked it into the back of the net and thankfully we did so because well, I mean we are so far clear at the top but you know you want to keep the winning form going you don't want to lose and you want to try and break the record as we almost scored a lovely goal with Liam Delap once again but the game actually is going to end as a 1-0 victory to ourselves quite poor actually 
if you ask myself. Quite poor. They were down to 10 men for a majority game. Maybe that kind of led them to sit back a bit more than they would have if they'd had 11. But we got the win. That's all that matters. And we do move on to the next game. Taking on Wayne Rooney's Derby County side. Now, seven minutes into this game, we are going to have the chance from Chalaba working through the middle. Wilson, one of the former Derby players, finds Mitrovic, strikes it across goal. And then it's a great save, denied by the chance of the goalkeeper. But yeah, uh, playing a rotational team in this one, that's why Mitrovic is in. That's why a couple of other players maybe look a bit more tired than others. But yeah, 25 minutes into the game, a chance here for them as they play the ball in the middle. Again, testing Gazaniga at that near post. Thankfully again, though, he is equal to it and does deny them the chance of getting in front in this game. As we go again, late in the second half, Mitrovic knocks the ball through to Dekodova Reed. Not really much is going to come from it, unfortunately. It does all kind of peter out and nothing happens from it. And this is a game we struggled against Derby County again. We've been on a run of a few games now, back-to-back, -back, the Barnes again, and this game. We struggled in them. You know, we've not been as good as we should have been. And, I mean, we are clear at the top, very, very clear at the top. Second place, Sheffield United have 30... Five points we have 51 so there is a very big gap so if we lose a game here it doesn't really matter but you know as I said you do want to win in these games keeping the form maybe even that form will help us go on a cup run in the FA Cup obviously we knocked out the Carabao Cup by Bournemouth but when the FA Cup does come around maybe we can go on a run in that but we do go 1-0 down in this game and it looks like they're going to go two here with Morrison, but thankfully we get the block in. We clear it away, and we actually catch them on a very, very nice counter-attack here as Deco Dovery takes a lovely touch, gets past his man, drives through on goal. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he very, very nicely tucks it past him, makes it 1-1, one -one, and we are right back in this game. And this is the type of game where you want to look at your striker. Obviously, this time it's Mitrovic, and we need him to score a goal. We need him to step up. And be the main man. And with a lovely ball into Wilson. We're going to look to play it back to Reed. Trying to find a bit of space here. There's a bit of space out wide. With the man in Decor Dover. Reed has already got a goal in this game. Can he get an assist? Very, very fortunate there from Mitrovic. The keeper just kind of fell, fell on his backside. And we did go and make it 2-1. Three points. Clawed from the jaws of defeat. And that is how this episode is going to end as an eventual victory with ourselves. Mitrovic getting the goal. Deco Doverud, though, being the main man. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.